Present day. <laughs> Present time. <laughs> Okay, so today I will teach you guys how to install native Linux games. Um, Linux, obviously. And this is really important because not all software will be available through Package Manager. And sooner or later, you might have to do this. And yes, you could install this with GU GUI or UI and actually install a Linux native games or software. But I'm going to teach you guys how to do it through the command line. And then I'm going to also teach you guys how to do it to the GUI. I'll try to simplify this process for you guys and I'm going to explain what each initial and the commands mean. Because for me personally, when I know what each initial stands for, it sticks with me and I actually remember the command. As always, don't forget to like and comment in this video. If you like the video, if you dislike my video, hit the dislike button two times, but let's get into it. Okay, so right here I have a native Linux game. I got Hollow Knight and we're going to be installing this. If you click it, nothing is really going to happen most of the time. So I'm going to teach you how to install native Linux games, and then we'll go over the GUI easier version. So you want to open your terminal. Now, let me increase the size of this so you guys could see better. Actually, that's too big. Let me just increase the size fully so you guys could see better. Anyway, so first command we're going to do in here, okay, let me put the directory first and then I'll explain. So CD means change directory. This, this right here, this stands for the home directory and then downloads is the folder I wanna go to. I downloaded this game from GOG, Hollow Knight. So this is where we're heading. So right here, we're in the downloads folder. Now, in order to see what's in the folder, we want to type ls. ls stands for list, and it will list whatever is inside that folder. So we got Hollow Knight, right? So the game or software is not going to launch. So this is basically an executable. You know how in Windows you have whatever the software name is, .exe? Well, on Linux, we have sh. So... What we're going to do, we're going to do this command. So chmod plus x, boom, this. So what does this mean? Okay, so chmod, chmod means change mode. So that's basically change mode. It basically gives it permission for the app to, it gives it permission for the app to launch. Plus x. That means to make it an executable. Then this right here is redirecting what you want to make an executable. So it says Hollow Knight. That's right here. You know, that's what we're trying to launch. And you press enter. Now that we created an executable, we want to go list again. And you can see now it's changed to that SH. So now that we created the executable, we could go and go flash and then we want to copy this right here oh and boom and right here it's launching the GUI so I could install this so whatever hit next accept the license and right here you could choose where you want to install it for the sake of this video, I'm going to install it in Downloads. Um, yeah, I'm gonna just install it here. Hit Next. I mean, you could create these if, if you want, et cetera. Well, that's like an executable, so you could search it up and launch it from there. Now let's wait for this to finish. Okay, so now that the game finished installing, if we go to downloads, it created a folder with the executable. And yes, you could, oh, what the heck happened? Anyway, you could search up Hollow Knight and you could launch it from there, but some apps is not going to make the executable. So you could launch it. So just to make sure this is what you want to do. So, so this right here is the folder. So we're going to um, change directory and do this. So this is a folder, and when we list, 
start.sh, this is what we're going to launch it with. So we're going to create an executable again. In this case, it didn't do it to this, but some software require you to do this again. So we want to do the same thing we did all over in the past, but with start.sh. And that will create a executable. And here we didn't really have to do it. Anyway, so in order to launch this every time, I'm going to teach you how to do it the easy way also. But in order to do this, to launch it, we just want to type this. We want to be into the directory. You know how I said change directory? Like, for example, if we want to go right here, we'll have to go downloads right there. Here's the folder, CD. And then copy that folder, list again. So you put that slash start that sh, boom. And this will launch the game. Now, there's an easier way to do this. So let's, let me close this. Okay, now that we got the executable and all that, Yes, you will have to do this to install native Linux games, and they're not through Steam. If it's on Steam, it automatically does it. But you should download a software by running this command, and you install Lutris. Now, you can run Lutris by just, you know, looking up Lutris and just running it through the software. I like doing to the GUI. So I'm going to launch it from here. So once you install the game, you just locate whatever the game is. You put Linux native, um, Hollow Knight. This way, when you launch the game, you're not going to have to, like, you know, launch the slash and executable. Even though you could, since that one gave us the option to act the shortcut, you could also double click on it. But anyways, for example, Hollow Knight, this is where I install it, and you put the start. And uh, make sure you got your name. Boom. Now, you can just launch the game from here, and boom. See? It's that easy. Okay, so if you guys and girls enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, you know, all that good shit. And as always, stay spooky, stay weird. And by the way, I use Arch. Actually, I, I did it wrong. It's, I use Arch, by the way. Fuck. Until next time.